fifth is the pocket monster this manual. This is the pocket monster <laughs> manual, 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 manual. manual. <laughs> Animate. What do you call a flying turtle? What? A shellycopter. That's right, we're back with boom, the jokes. Boom. We're no. doing jokes now. No, no. Bran. Alright, to tell your joke, Mitch. Bran. Bran, Bran. <laughs> rusty. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. Specs. I just thought, because Rusty's here, it's a pocket monster, Manuel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't believe it talks to me live on radio. Uh, and we're getting grabbed by the Grotel. <laughs> Grotel, so called because it's a combination of grass and a scrotum. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm right in thinking that there's something very visceral and like nasty visceral. about this name. The the existence of of Grotel implies the existence of Shodel. Shrinkle. God, I don't want to know what a shrinkle looks like. They ran out of names with this one, didn't they? Grovile, Grotel. As a, mm. you know, there's only so many things that plants do. So is it Grotel or is it Grotel? No, it's definitely Grotel. If it was Grotel, it would have two T's, right? Yeah, that's probably true. I had a similar problem with the German name. I have no idea how to pronounce the German the German name, which is uh, Shelkerain. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Even back in the day, like what what is it Shel called? Shelkerain. I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's weird. This is one of the mid-forms of all time. <laughs> this certainly is a mid-form. The wig is gone. Is this supposed to evoke an armadillo? The neck is also gone. Yeah, he's not a turtle anymore. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, he's a, a different different species altogether. Like, he's not, got a, he's not got the same sort of shell. He looks like he could roll up into a ball, exactly. But he's yeah. grown toes. He has grown he toes. He toes now. He looks like dinosaur-y. I mean, that's kind of what turtles are. Well, let me tell you something about turtles. <laughs> They've lived for <laughs> millions of years. <laughs> let me tell you about turtles. God, yeah, this thing fucking sucks. He also looks like the the grass isn't really growing out of him. It looks like he's he's like tried to disguise himself as a bush <laughs> and just like, <laughs> yeah, not yeah, done yeah. very well. Yeah, they look pasted on. Just a bush. You, you mean like the the kikwis from Skyward Sword that have like little bushel of oh grass God. on their back and trying to blend in very yeah. badly? Yeah. God, I hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> or for a more up to date reference, when you're playing Fortnite and you get the bush item to equip. Nice. Am I right, fellow Fortnite gamers? <laughs> nice. Uh, you can't see it, but I'm flossing over here. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel the magnetic resonance of your floss. Uh, it's almost as unpleasant as what happened to me when my Turtwig evolved into this Pokemon Go on. back in 2008. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> the thing is, it evolved into this Pokemon, and I immediately had to throw up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, and I think it was the last time I had to throw up since. Wow! The, la the last time you ever <laughs> threw up was seeing Grotel. <laughs> I don't think it was uh, related to the design. I think it was related to the pumpkin soup I had earlier in the day. But <laughs> no, it, it was definitely Grotel. It was definitely him. It was him. Forever etched into my memory. <laughs> Because it's a core memory. How long ago ha you haven't thrown up since then? No, that's crazy to me. Hey, I'm not complaining. I don't want to throw up. I mean, I don't either. It happens. So I'm not picking the starter anymore. Do you think anyone ever pushes Grotel over onto its back and then laughs as it rolls around? Uh, Grotel tipping is a common pastime in Sinnoh. I think with the trees, it'd be hard. They're like a self-writing mechanism. No, it's like a roll cage. Or, worst case, the trees will just grow upwards and leaving it forever on its back while the trees grow up. Oh god. <laughs> if, it if, what, what, if it evolves while it's on its back, like, does, what, does the tree just kind of, like, push it back up? The tree turns into a root, <laughs> and then the stem will slowly push Toterra up into the air. Horrifying. What do we think about if you were to take this guy out of his, out of this like line? Because he doesn't look really like he fits with the other two. If you take the bushes off his back, he could be like his own thing. 
recolor him, make him a normal type, I don't know. If you do that, it looks like a Gen 5, Gen 6 Pokemon, kind of. If you were just, like, without the bushes. It'd look like a normal type, I guess. Whatever. It's just it's just not got a lot of throughput, does it? It's a, a bit of a bad one, I guess. I mean, it's the in-between. It's the in-between. But, but again, it's like, head head goes head goes back in under shell, so I look like an armadillo now, and then it pops back out, and I've got a normal shell again. It's just weird. It's like they didn't put enough thought into it. Yeah, like, the shell is, like, going over its head and its tail for this one, like, family only and then it retreats again i mean not not really if you look at doTERRA it actually has a second shell on top of it okay here's something that starts happening with grotel and it'll follow on into um uh torterra as well this pokemon gives other pokemon rides on its back now this one's only three foot tall um which i'm guessing is height from ground to top so it's going to be a little bit longer than that but like it's going to be some pretty small pokemon that are riding around on it right well, if you look at the biology section, you can see a picture of a Krikatoon, a Surskit, and a Magdabumbo. <laughs> I mean, have you seen... People People are riding on these large turtles that are, like, what, what are they called? Galapagos turtles? They're not super... Maybe a kid could. I wouldn't recommend it, because they're in danger. Yeah, they, they, they will carry you if you sit on its shell. They're not happy about it, but they will. Oh yeah, I'm seeing some pictures of children riding on turtles, so I guess that kind of works. Um, so it seems like it grows acorns from its little bushes, and things come to eat from them. I mean, in the anime, at least. I wonder if different, different grottle have different things that grow on their bushes. The one that grows like berries? Depending on region, yeah. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. They, they all just grow bananas like Walter Gropius does. Glorious Tropius. So, oh, God. So, yeah, some Pokemon come to pick the berries growing on the back of... <laughs> like, if you compare this to other Pokemon, do other Pokemon approach Miltank? Uh, I don't want to think dude, about that. Oh. Talking your lips like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Smoochum coming up to it like... No! <laughs> just keep me sucky. <laughs> Gulpin? Oh, Gulpin? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gulping down these udders, boy. Yeah, all four Gulpin of them. puts all the udders in its mouth. I can I can show swallow lot of milk. 